Okay. You're on. Good morning. Uh, just pray, pray for the ones that aren't here, Brother Bob, Brother Lewis, and all the ones that are sick. Uh, today I want to talk about complaining. I gave everybody a little paper right here. Uh, about the children of Israel, how they complain, complain, complain. And I also found this in the in the Sparrow book, but the Grumblers, I'm not going to read that, but they say they grumble Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. They grumble when it rains, they grumble when it don't rain. <coughs> Webster said, complain is to express grief, pain, or discontent to make a formal accusation or charge something that is the cause or subject of protest or, or outcry. Uh, shall I want to talk about the children of Israel. <clears throat> it's a type of, of, of our journey that they came out of Egypt, which is a type of the world going to the promised land. And uh, we came out of the world into the message for our day and are going to the promised land. Let's go to John 14, 1 to 4. John 14, 1 to 4 says, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would not have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. In the message, Why Christ Speak, Brother Ram said, uh, Moses was born a proper child. No one else could take his place. He was ordained for the job. Uh, Brother Ram says, like, pre predestination. He was predestined. Uh, let's, go to, let's go to Exodus uh, 23. <coughs> Twenty-three, twenty to twenty-four. Moses was given an angel, and Brother Bram was given an angel. Mm -hmm. So Exodus twenty-three, 20, twenty to twenty-four. Behold, I send an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will, bring, I will be an enemy unto the enemies and the adversary unto the adversaries. For the angels shall go before thee and bring thee into the all the Hittites, Canaanites, all them guys. And I will cut them off. So he promised that he would take care of all their enemies already. Thou shalt not bow down to their gods, nor serve them, nor do after their <coughs> words. But thou shalt utterly overthrow them and, and quite break down their images. When the an angel came to Brother Adam, he told him, he told him, if you get the people to believe, Nothing will stand in your way when you pray, even cancer. Right. <laughs> and your little thing right here in uh, Numbers, right at the top it says Numbers 14.22. 
because all those all those men which have seen my glory and my miracles which I did in Egypt and the wilderness and have tempted me now these ten times have, have not hearkened to my voice. Actually, I was, I was reading all over and I found more than ten complaints. But uh, we're going to go with this because we probably won't even have time to cover all of them. Let's go to. Uh, let's start with the first complaint uh, Exodus 14:10. 14, 10 to 14. <coughs> That's this, 14. <coughs> children of Israel lifted up their eyes and behold the Egyptians marched after them and they were sore afraid and the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord and they said unto Moses because there were no graves in Egypt and how has taken us away to die in the wilderness wherefore hast thou dealt thus with us to carry us forth out of Egypt is not this the word that we did tell thee in Egypt saying let us alone that we may serve the Egyptians, for it had been better for us to serve the Egyptians than that we should die in the wilderness. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom you ye have seen today, you shall see them again no more. How long? Forever. The Lord shall fight for you, and, and you shall hold your peace. And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore thou cried thou unto me, Speak unto the children of Israel, that they may go forward. <coughs> and uh, lifting him out of a history, Brother Mary said, uh, Moses, when he had, he led the children of Israel into the wilderness, and he came to the Red Sea and the mountains on the one side and the desert on the other, and Pharaoh's army this way and the Red Sea in ahead of them, and they were trapped in a little net. Seemed like that even next was cry out, "What's going to happen? They're finished." Pharaoh's army by the tens of thousands to ride them down. Now, what did the people begin to do? Murmur and complain. Okay, it'd be, better, it'd be better off we stay back in our place where we were at. But there was one among them, those people who had the flame of God's faith burning in his heart, who believed that a historical God could raise on the scene in any kind of difficult. Moses stood with his hands up to God and prayed until the God of history rose on the scene to be a God in the present day. And he opened the way. And Israel went through the waters on dry land. <coughs> and the message, uh, why Christ speak? said, Now you remember he had already prophesied here, for he said, The Egyptians that you see today, you shall see them no more forever. Amen. You'll see them no more. And immediately began to cry out, God, what can we do? See? <coughs> After he had done a pretty good job and in prophesying that, you see, he done, he done told them what would happen. If the, if the word of God was in him, it was in him, and and we, when he was telling that it actually come to pass, what he said was already going to come to pass, and here he was crying out, what am I going to do? So Moses did cry too, like everybody else did. <coughs> Uh, number two, Exodus 15, 23 
<coughs> and when they came to Mary, they could not drink of the water of Mary, for they were bitter. Therefore, the name of it was called Mara. When the people murmured against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? And he cried unto the Lord, and the Lord showed him a tree which he had cast into the waters. The waters were made sweet, there he made for them a statue and an ordinance, and there he proved to them. And he said, If thou wilt be linked hard to the voice of the Lord thy God and will do that which is right in his sight and will give ear to his commandments and give all his statutes. I will put <coughs> these diseases upon thee which I have, have brought upon the Egyptians for I am the Lord that healeth thee. <coughs> On the bottom of my Schofield Bible it says uh, this uh, bitter waters were in the very path of the Lord's leading and stand for the <coughs> trials of God's people, which are educatory and not putative. The tree is a cross, which became <coughs> sweet to, the, to Christ as the expression of the Father's will. When our Mars are so taken, we cast the tree into the waters. <coughs> <coughs> Go to Exodus 16, <clears throat> 1, 2, 3. And they took their journey from Elah, and all the congregation of children of Israel came into the wilderness of Sinai, which is between Elam and Sinai, on the 15th day of the second month after their departing out of the land of Egypt. And the whole congregation of children of Israel murmur against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. And the children of Israel said unto them, Would to God we had died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt, when we said by the flesh pots, and when we did eat bread to the full. For ye have brought us forth into this wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger. Then said the Lord unto Moses, Behold, I will rain bread from heaven for you, and the people shall go out and gather a certain rate every day that I may prove to them whether they will walk in my law or no. And it shall come to pass that on the sixth day they shall prepare that which they bring in, and it shall be twice as much as they gather daily. And Moses and Aaron said unto all the children of Israel, that even then you shall know that the Lord had brought you out from the land of Egypt. And in the morning then you shall see the glory of the Lord, for that he heard, heard your murmurings against the Lord. And what are we that you should murmur against us? And Moses said, This shall be when the Lord shall give you in the evening flesh to eat, and in the morning bread to the full. For the Lord had heard your murmurings, which you murmur against him, and what are we? Your murmurings are not against us, but against the Lord. Right. And Moses spake unto Aaron, saying, all, Say unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, Come near before the Lord, for he had heard your murmurs. And it came to pass, as Aaron spake unto the whole congregation of the children of Israel, that they looked toward the wilderness, and behold, the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. Right. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, I have heard the murmurings of the children of Israel. Be come to them, saying, If even you shall eat flesh in the morning, you shall be filled with bread, and you shall know that I am the Lord your God. And it came to pass that the evening the quills came up and covered the camp, and in the morning the dew lay around, but about the host. <clears throat> Number four, 
forth is uh, Exodus 19, 21. It talks about uh, when they're gathering the manna, they uh, they disobeyed Moses to you know, <laughs> to leave 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 none until morning. And Moses was uh, was was wrath, and so and the and the manna grew worms and, and stuck. <clears throat> Number seven, which is uh, Exodus saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mount, the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron and said unto him, uh, Make us gods which shall go before us, for as for this Moses, the man that brought us out of the land of Egypt, we will not what is become of him. And Aaron said unto them, Break off the golden earrings which are in the ears of your wives, of your sons and of your daughters, and bring them unto me. And the people broke off the <coughs> earrings which were in their ears and brought them unto Aaron. And he received them at their hand and fastened it with a graven tool after he made it and molded a calf. And they said, These be thy gods, O Israel, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. And when Aaron saw it, he built an altar <coughs> before it. And Aaron made proclaimed and said to Moro, Is a feast to the Lord. And they rose up early in the morning, morrow, and <coughs> offered burnt offerings and brought peace offerings. And the people sat down to eat, to drink, and rose up to play. Right. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go get thee down, for thy people which thou hast brought out of the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which commanded them that they have made the mole calf and have worshipped it and have sacrificed thereunto. <coughs> said, thee, These be thy gods, O Israel, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. And the Lord said unto Moses, I have seen these people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Now therefore let me alone, that my wrath may wax hot against them, and that I may consume them, and I will make thee of every nation. <coughs> spoken also by us and the Lord heard it and now the man Moses was very meek above all the men who were upon the face of the earth and the Lord spake suddenly unto Moses and Aaron and unto Miriam come out ye three unto the tabernacle of the congregation and they three came out 
and the Lord and the Lord came and uh, came down in the pillar of the cloud and stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Miriam, and they both came forth. And he said, Hear now my word. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision, and I will speak unto him in a dream. My servant Moses is not so who is faithful in all my house. With him will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently not in dark speeches and in similitude of the Lord shall he behold where or then we then were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses and the anger of the Lord was kindled against them and he departed <coughs> and the cloud departed from off the tabernacle and behold Miriam became leprous white as snow and Aaron looked upon Miriam and behold she was leprous and Aaron said unto Moses Allah my Lord I beseech thee, lay not the sin upon us, where we have done foolishly, and where we have sinned. Let her not be one as dead, of whom the flesh is half consumed, when he come out of his mother's womb. And Moses cried unto the Lord, <coughs> cry, 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 cry. And Moses cried unto the Lord, saying, Heal her now, O Lord, I beseech thee. And the Lord said unto Moses, If her father has spit it in her face, should she not be ashamed seven days? Let her not be shut out. Let her be shut out from the camp seven days, and after that, let her be received in the camp again. And Mary was shut out of the from the camp seven days, and the people journey not till Marion was brought in again. So they, they stopped for seven days because of Marion. Seven days. All those people. Hmm? All those people because of one lady. <laughs> no wonder it took them 40 years. Didn't say just the women, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> no, Balaam. In the, in the message, I think, is the children of Israel. Uh, <coughs> even Balaam got in there. He said, uh, Look at here, the children of Israel did this and that. Surely a holy God would have to curse the people like that. <coughs> but he failed to see the sm smitten rock, the brazen serpent, the atonement that forgave their sins. He also said, uh, today, no matter what the church does, has done, the atonement and the blood of Jesus Christ still atones for our sins. He also says, uh, talking to Moses, he said, God gave you the promise that the healing, your healing, your health, the Holy Spirit, but you have to fight for it. He said, you might have to cut through the Methodist, Baptist, Presbyterian, and so on, he said, don't bow down to their gods. It's yours. Take it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I better hurry and get this right here. Uh, you guys will probably want to like this. Unite in time and, and unite in time and sign, Brother Ram says. Because I think one of the horrible things is to see a woman, man or woman that's constantly complaining, I always thought, God keep me from it. See? That that we that we can stay all the time, you know. But I think one of the most horrible things is for Satan to crown some person's life a crab old man or an old woman. I want my life crowned with the glory of God, his long suffering, gentleness, <coughs> peace, meekness, and filled with the Holy Spirit. He said, I'm no I'm I'm in the fret flashing red light of his coming, of his sign of his coming. He said, I'm getting old, I know that. Each day I get a new ache, a new pain. <laughs> right, brother? Yes. We get a new ache, a new pain, every one of us. You might as well tell the truth, I thought. God, don't let me... <coughs> one of the most miserable things is to see a man or a woman who has never accepted Christ and just live as an old moss back, 
Mossback? I don't know, that's country talk, I guess. <laughs> Mossback, church member, meaner than Satan himself. Oh God, I know. Give me grace to never complain. I want my life to be. Lord, I want my life, my people's life. God grant that our life could be crowned no matter if we suffer, whatever takes place. I mean, I mean, turns against me. I hope, get, I hope that God never lets Satan crown me as an old crab. Indifferent man and my wife, an old nagging woman. <laughs> or your... <Sorry. laughs> I knew you guys were like this. <laughs> your wife or you, or you that, that way. I pray, brother, that our lives will be crowned with the fruits of the spirit, love, joy, long-suffering, gentleness, patience, truth, faith, and the Holy Spirit. <coughs> and the uh, spoken words of Richard C. Brother said, I remember one time a man named Moses, those people constantly, we call it in our southern expression, <coughs> aggravated him, just constantly kept him on the move, everything with a murmur <coughs> or a complaint and so forth. But Moses, when he came to the showdown, when God said, separate yourself from them because I'm going to take you and start a new nation, Moses threw himself on the path of God's wrath said, take me and not the people. That he called rebels, rebellions against God and against him. Yet he loved them so much till he said, take me and save them. That was Christ and Moses. Amen. Thank you. We'll call it quits for that. Uh oh. <coughs> There's one looking at me like, hey, it wasn't me. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.